Once Coyote lost all his belongings and nearly drowned while crossing the river with his animal friends. Poor Coyote became very sad and jealous. Being an infamous trickster, Coyote invented a bluffing game to challenge the other animals to win over their possessions. And this game is the one we're going to teach you in this video. The new colorful card game by Heidelbar Games is a card game for three to five players with art style and theme inspired by the traditions of Northwest Coastal Tribes. Native American artist Zona Yvonne Schroyer of the Yupik Alaskan people made the card game a piece of art itself. In this game, each player gets three peak cards, two with an open eye and one with a closed eye. Then you shuffle the playing cards and deal one card to each player, which is placed on the stand with its back towards the player. And you place one face down card as well in the middle of the table. This basically means you always see the cards of the other players, but never your own. Players take turns in clockwise order, and when it's your turn, you must announce a number that is less than the total cards in the game and yet higher than the previous guess given by others. So let's say the person on the left is the first player. He has to make the first bid having seen only the cards of his opponents and not his own, nor the face down card in the middle. The next player in clockwise order can either raise the bid with a number higher than the person on the left or challenge the bid. When someone is challenging the bid, they're basically suggesting that the total of all the cards in the game are less than the bid declared already. When you challenge the bid, you reveal all cards by placing them on the table and count the total value. If the total value is less than the previous bid, you win the challenge and the previous player loses. And the opposite happens if the total value is equal to or higher than the previous bid. The winner flips one of their peak cards showing a closed eye to the side with the open eye. And the loser has to discard one of their peak cards completely. When you are forced to discard your last peak card, you are out of the game. On your turn, you can spend an open eye peak card. As the name suggests, have a peek. You flip it back to its closed eye side in order to secretly peek at the extra cards in the center of the table. After that, however, you must raise the bid. All players can make use of this function except for the first turn of the starting player. Play continues until all but one player are out of the game and the last one to remain wins. There's also some special cards among the numbers. They do not have a fixed value, but their effect can change the total value of the card in play with a question mark. When resolving a challenge, replace this card with a top card from the deck and add the value of that card instead. With this special card, max equals zero. You change the value of the highest value number card in play to zero. If both special cards are in play, you first resolve the question mark, then apply the effect of the max zero card. These are the basic rules, but when you're well familiar with them, there's also a variant you should definitely play called the trickster variant. In this version of the rules, you start the game with only one open and two closed eyes on your peak cards. And you will also use an extra card, the name giving coyote card. Before resolving a challenge, all players except the challenger and the previous bidder must guess simultaneously who will be the winner. On the count of three, they point at the player they believe will win. If your guess was right, you flip one of your peak cards showing a close eye to the side with the open eye. If you guessed wrong, you flip one of your peak cards with an open eye to the closed eye side. The loser of a round takes the coyote card and they may use a special effect once in the next round. This gives them the chance to look at the top card of the draw deck at the beginning 
of their turn and place it face down next to the extra card already at the center of the table. They place the coyote on top of the new card and they are also forced to raise the bid additionally. The other players cannot peek at the new card. The new card now counts towards the total sum of the cards that the players are bidding on. It is now that you're ready to successfully bluff your way through your first card game of Coyote.